Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for WM Experts, and Malatesta and I are tag teaming the SPB Mobile Shell Review because we think it's a really great piece of software and it deserves a video and a full review. So here it is, here's the uh, the Now screen, which you may recognize from Mobile Shell 1.0. It looks very familiar, you've got your time big there in the middle. Uh, you've got your alerts for mail and phone calls and text messages. This is neat. You tap that uh, speaker there and you can switch between three different uh, basic profiles, which I kind of like. Sets this volume for the phone. Uh, other things that are neat and new, look, there's the weather. And when you tap on it, it actually takes you to a new weather screen that shows you uh, today's, you know, exact forecast, you know, and the, the week, which is pretty nice. And you can also tap refresh there. You can go back, and I will also see, if you tap on the time, you got something else new here. You've got a big old clock, your next alarm, and then also uh, time zones for uh, what the different cities around the world are at time-wise. And then, of course, you've got your upcoming calendar, and you can also tap on a day in the calendar. And when you do that, it'll take you right to that day, which is pretty slick. Now, you can, of course, navigate with the five-way around all this stuff, but uh, I, I don't really like doing that. Okay, so... The now screen comes on by default when you turn the device on. You can turn that off. Um, but how do you get to it when uh, you're just, you know, hearing your calendar or whatever? This is really cool. You slide your finger down and boom, you get a little thumbnail screenshot and, and it's updated live of your now screen. But then you also have got your uh, SPB menu and then you've got a speed dial list there too, which is really slick. So uh, you can just slide across and pop. There it is. And uh, you can even if you when you know where they are, you just go right to it, which is pretty cool. Now there's some other uh, neat new features here. So you've got your menu, of course, which you've seen before. We've also got the now screen and we'll get to contacts in a minute. That's pretty slick. And so you can tap on these buttons at the bottom to uh, switch between them. You can also use your right and left five way if you want to switch between them. But hey, look at that. You can flick your finger back and forth and they've got a bunch of different animations you can choose from to uh, go between the different screens. So that's really actually pretty convenient. So if you're in the now screen, you just flip to the left really quick and you're in your, your speed dial. So you turn the thing on, you're never more than one flip away from calling somebody or one flip away from launching an app. Now here is your start menu, and as you can see, you've got your recent apps across the top, just like the way it was in the original Today Screen plugin. But when you hold down your finger on one of them, it gives you this neat little pop-up menu that you just saw, and you can even manage your pins manually. Now the other cool thing is, look at that neat animation when you pop into something, and boom, right into favorites, so that's much faster than launching Internet Explorer, hitting the menu button, looking for favorites, or whatever. Um, much cooler. Uh, now there's only six of these big thumbs instead of uh, nine on the original, which is kind of too bad. Um, but I mean, it's, I don't know, it's totally a trade-off that's worth it. Uh, you do when you're uh, in the settings have to pay attention that you don't get the, you know, you only get the first six in your settings, but really it's not a big deal. And you know, a much better interface to get towards programs, to get towards your settings, you know, for Windows Mobile. And again, you can flip back and forth with just a flick of the finger. It'll be your big programs list here. Although realistically, you don't have to go in all that often because you've got your recent programs at the top there, which is pretty neat. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the updates they made to this menu here. Now let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, Today screen. The plugins for the Today screen are just the same as you remember. There's your recent shortcuts, same as in the menu. There's your clock, there's your weather, there's your speed dial. Not synced up to the speed dial on the new speed dial screen, but still pretty cool. Um, and actually, let's go back to the speed dial screen because this is really slick. Uh, when you tap on a face, typically on most of these programs, it just starts calling, right? But with this, it's actually smart. You tap on the face and bing, it brings up a big, nice thumbnail picture of their face and then the different methods you have for content contacting them, call their mobile, send them an SMS, send them an, you know, an email or whatever. And you can also add people really quickly. And if you've got a touchscreen only device, you can, you know, it brings that up. If you've got a keyboard, it won't bring it up. You can just start typing. Um, you can also just search through all your contacts too, which is pretty slick. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan of this dialer. Uh, this SPB Mobile Shell 2.0, I hate to, uh, I don't know, I hate to, to, to say it's the best thing ever but it really is cool works on a, a trios 2 240 by 240 screens um it it's basically uh it makes it it blows touch flow out of the water okay not quite out of the water but it it is much better than touch flow and much deeper into the system than uh, touch flow gets and i'm i'm really a big fan you should definitely definitely check it out